Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cameron here. Thank you for tuning in once again. On the topic of today is boosting FPS, lowering input delay, and lowering your ping. Overall, just improving your video game experience in the brand new Season 5, Chapter 2. Now, I will preface everything in this video with mentioning that there isn't a whole lot of brand new settings in this season, but it's still a good time to review all the best settings for everybody who may be new or has learned uh, PC recently and hasn't learned all the new mechanics and settings and all that stuff. So just a little bit of info to maybe help you guys get a little bit better performance out of your machines. So to start off, we're just gonna take a look at the most basic settings here of Fortnite. Specifically, we're gonna tie into NVIDIA control settings and a few other desktop settings as well. But let's first take a look here and I'll just explain everything that I have going on here. So the first and foremost, I mean, you just wanna set whatever the max frame rate of your monitor can handle. Uh, most people either have like a 60 Hertz or a 120 Hertz or 144 Hertz. Or if you're an elite, then you got the 240 hertz monitor refresh rate. And depending on all those different options, you can choose uh, which FPS. And you just want to set it to with the max refresh rate that your monitor can handle. Mine is 144 hertz monitor, so I'll keep it at that. Uh, dropping down over here to our graphics quality settings. These are the most important ones. These are going to affect the actual uh, processing ability of your video game. Um, so basically, I'll, you'll see here, that I have this on custom. I have a couple things um, kind of changed around a bit. The one that I would recommend playing with is view distance. Um, just depending on what your frame rate is, um, you can turn on frame rates down here, by the way. If you're consistently getting below your frame rate that your refresh rate of your monitor can handle, then uh, if that's the case, I would recommend dropping this from epic down to far or from epic down to medium. Um, it just depends on, uh, on what your graphics card can handle. Other than that, and this is just the same that most pros all have, they have everything off and low for these five settings. So shadows, anti-aliasing, textures, effects, post-processing, just have it all on low or off. And then coming down here, the advanced graphics, these do help some, uh, they, they're not a huge focal point for, um, for FPS and lowering input delay and that type, that type of thing. Um, V-Sync, I recommend having it off personally. Reason for that, you'll have better input response. So meaning like your keyboard and mouse functionality will happen quicker if you have it off versus having it on. The reason that um, having it on is is kind of good is that um, it means you get full uh, full refreshes of your screen. Sometimes what will happen when your graphics card is working, you'll get screen tearing, which is basically like partial images of, of a frame. So it can make it a little bit um, misleading for where like an enemy is if you're like flick shotting and stuff. Um, it can cause you to kind of in your mind in milliseconds miss shoot where you think a player might be so but it's it's much uh, it's better to sacrifice that in my opinion to have the lower input delay and higher frame rate so i just recommend having it off the motion blur is just basically um blurring between your frames so it it basically is um it's giving you fake frames as well because it's gonna look a lot more smooth but um, it's giving you fictitious frames, so just keep it off. It's better off that anyways. DirectX, this is for ray tracing. If you have a RTX graphics card, one of the newer like 3000 series, you can try the DirectX 12. Um, you'll get a message here to restart the game to, for changes for ray tracing. So uh, it's in beta, so it's not like fully developed yet, but it's something you can you can play with if you want the extra um, you know qualities of ray tracing. One more thing I wanted to mention up here at the top: if you get through all of that and you still are somehow having some issues where you're just not getting very high frame rates, um, I recommend coming over here to resolution. Um, you can drop this down. Um, all of these are HD, so 1920 by 1080 is the highest and 1280 by 720 is the lowest. All of these are HD, so I recommend you know trying a lower one if you're still not getting the frame rates that you need. But yeah guys, that's basically it for the settings here on this screen. 
Um, I'm going to go over a couple other settings on your NVIDIA control center. So let's take a look at that. All right, guys. So just taking a look at this, this is our NVIDIA control panel. It's completely free and it's part of uh, your graphics card software. You can download it free if you don't have it for whatever reason. So uh, the first thing you want to do, it's the most important one, is come over here to power management mode. And I think by default, it's on optimal power. You're going to want to make sure that's on prefer maximum performance. Um, that's just basically going to give you all the best uh, power possible for your graphics card. Might use a little bit more power, but it's it's definitely worth it. The next one you're going to want to change if you come up here, it's right here at the bottom, low latency mode. You're going to want to turn this one on. Um, you can do ultra if you want to try it out. But the reason this helps is it'll actually help with boosting your frame rates. But yeah, those are the main ones. Um, after you update that, just go ahead and hit apply and you should be good to go. All right guys, so just coming into the last settings here, I just wanna show you guys how you can clear the app cache in Fortnite. Um, I learned about this a little bit ago and it is really interesting because it does actually kind of help refresh and reset things. Um, warning though, it will refresh all your video settings, but if you're totally fine with that, um, then I'd recommend this. This can actually help boost your FPS an extra 10, 15, 20 frames per second if you need it. So what you'll want to do is go into your search bar in the bottom left and just search percent local app data percent. And then when you press that, it opens the metadata for your applications. Um, you're just gonna look for Fortnite in here. So say Fortnite game and it's literally the easiest thing ever But if you type in any character after Fortnite game Basically the game will refresh itself and clear its cache and cookies in the game Kind of like you could do this with any of the apps that you literally have here and It'll just refresh everything and next time you load it up. It should be a lot more a lot more simple. Actually, at the close Fortnite first, and then that's all you do. Um, and just go ahead and reopen it. All right. So when you reload the game, you'll get this pop up. It's just going to automatically apply the best settings to your system. Just click confirm. Basically, it's like the game is brand new, but it's not. It'll still have all your other stuff like your uh your key binds um your locker you know everything like that it just refreshes your video settings awesome so when you reload your background will look like this it's like a default look of your uh your lobby screen but nothing is affected so don't worry about that um, then you're going to want to go into your settings and basically just reset everything that you had before. Set it up the exact same way you had. Um, I like to go a little bit higher by brightness. And everything will be set to epic or whatever it, it thinks that your system can handle. Um, and then, yeah, just go ahead and adjust it to everything that you had before all this. Well, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, it should have increased your FPS if you have been running a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the season and found some use of this. I will see you guys in the next one. See you for now.